What's up guys, it is Chris back with another unboxing. Today we're unboxing a brand that I have not had on the channel before. It is called Briston. They are a very small micro brand, sort of a micro brand, and they make some very interesting watches, very interesting case designs, very interesting designs overall. Um, and they sent me this watch in for review. This is the Clubmaster Diver. It's a yachting watch as they describe it. So uh, the packaging it comes in is just a simple cardboard box. There's a little bit of a slip on top of this cardboard box. Just take that right off. It says Briston on it. Uh, and then inside the box itself, we have a felt carrying pouch. Uh, and that is signed Briston, of, as you can see. And then uh, there is just some information inside the box. It's just like a little felt lined box and it has uh, a warranty card and then uh, just information on their other watches and information on the watch itself. Uh, sort of like a lookbook almost. There's uh, pictures and stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool. They make some uh, interesting watches actually. They make uh, a chronograph, a world timer. Uh, so they make a lot of different watches. Um, and this is, like I said, it's one of their diving watches. It's one of their, uh, uh, I guess, less expensive watches. It's the Briston Clubmaster. Now, this has a few different aspects of it that are somewhat very actually different from your run-of-the-mill micro brand. The outer case on this, so it is a stainless steel case, uh, but the outer case itself is actually made of tortoise shell, which is acetate. It's, it's essentially a plastic shell that's the same material that sunglasses are made out of or uh, eyeglasses, and it's just a shroud that is around the outside of the actual case itself. Then you have metal lugs, as you can see, and you have uh, screw down crowns, just like a normal dive watch. It's on a normal NATO bracelet. However, another aspect of the watch that's a little bit different, a little bit special, the actual dial itself is made out of walnut. It's It looks like teak almost. It's made to look like uh, a teak deck on, on sort of like a yacht. Uh, it has those uh, vertical stripes in the wood itself. So there's actually a texturing to the wood. So this walnut is actually what the dial is made out of. And then they actually put a, uh, a really cool texture on it as well. It's signed on there. Briston is, is the uh, name of the company. And then it says Clubmaster and it gives you that it's a 200 meter dive watch. You do have an inner rotating bezel that is in a blue color. Obviously the wood is in a brown color and you do get applied indices. You have uh, loomed indices and loomed hands and this is actually getting uh, C1 Super Luminova. So the loom should actually be pretty good on this watch. Um, and it's a very different looking watch, I will say. So you have a little hang tag here. It just gives you the uh, model number. This is the 18642.SA. Um, and like I said, they have a bunch of different watches on their website, uh, which all have this sort of case design and then get this uh, treatment with the acetate or tortoise shell in different varying tones and colors. Um, and sizes. So this is a 42 millimeter watch. It's 42 by 42 millimeters. So it's basically a square watch. 14.65 millimeters in width. You get an NH35 in here, uh, a date at three o'clock. Uh, and as I mentioned, an inner rotating bezel. The top crown is not screwed down. Uh, however, the bottom crown, which operates the uh, time setting, is screwed down. So uh, both of the, the crowns are actually signed. The top crown uh, rotates that inner rotating bezel as you can see uh, very smooth action works really nicely uh, everything lines up obviously perfectly because it is um, it is bi-directional um, and works really well it is not easy to turn these crowns the crowns are sort of shrouded in that acetate a little bit so it actually acts as a protector of those crowns so uh, does not move and it is nice uh, and, and snug into the case. Stainless steel bezel, you have a domed mineral crystal on here. It is a K1 hardened mineral crystal. Uh, and this came with a NATO strap, not exactly the strap that I would normally recommend for this watch. I think you probably should go for the uh, bracelet. You can get a bracelet on this watch or probably a rubber strap since it is a dive watch. The watch itself is pretty interesting. You have, uh, like you can see here in the back, you can see that the, the lugs actually connect to the case. 
So uh, the case itself is sort of an inner metal area and then uh, you have the case back here which is screwed down and is in stainless steel. Uh, just an interesting idea and you can see in my hand it's just a, an interesting little watch. I will throw this on a different strap. I normally don't do that in the actual unboxing but I want you guys to see it's, uh, it's actually a lot better looking on a rubber strap. Uh, or a leather strap than the uh, than the NATO strap. I think this case goes better with another type of strap. So uh, really quickly, I'll throw it on a uh, on another strap, and then we will do a uh, a wrist shot. So here is the watch on a Ritchie silicone strap. These watch straps come in at around twenty one dollars, uh, and they have a curved end. They have a texture to them. They're really nice watch straps for a very inexpensive price. And the reason why I chose to put this strap on this watch is because of that red. So the red peaks out on the side there and definitely matches the dial where you have a little bit of a red accent in that rotating bezel. Uh, just a really smooth action on that bezel too. Uh, really nice strap. I think this strap looks really good on this watch. I think this watch itself looks a lot better on a rubber strap or a leather strap than it does on a NATO strap. Uh, this came with the NATO strap and that's why uh, it was on there, but I think this looks a lot better as it is here. Uh, so very quickly, I will throw it on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, as you can see, uh, today I am wearing the Zelos Mako 3 in stainless steel with that new ratcheting bracelet. It is pretty, yeah, it's actually really, really good. Uh, but we will uh, get back to that. I'm doing a full review of that coming out pretty soon. Um, so here it is. This is the Briston Clubmaster on my seven and a half inch wrist. I have it on a Richie strap, as I mentioned. Definitely check them out. I'll put a link to, of obviously, to the um, to the Briston website, and I will also put a link to the Richie website uh, if you are interested in their straps as well. You can see this actually looks really cool on my wrist. It looks, it fits really nicely. It's not huge. It's a 42 millimeter, but it actually wears like. Uh, I would say a 42 millimeter, true 42 millimeter. It doesn't wear any bigger than that. Uh, it's 42 millimeters by 42 millimeters. But you have very thin, small lugs, uh, and the crowns don't protrude out very much. Uh, it's a very comfortable watch. It's actually very light because of that acetate, um, and it looks it looks really good on my wrist, I think. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to do a loom shot, and we'll also discuss price. Well, there you have it. The loom isn't too bright on this watch. You have brighter loom on the hands uh, than you do on the indices and that inner rotating bezel. Uh, yes, the inner rotating bezel is loomed and you get orientation from that triangle there at 12 o'clock uh, and you have moving seconds. So uh, price on this is a little bit on the higher side. It's $590. That's a little bit high of a price for a watch that's powered by an age 35. However, this does get an acetate shroud, a tortoiseshell shroud around that stainless steel case. So it's a little bit different, a little bit special. This does have a mineral crystal and it does come on that strap that's not that great. Although I think you get to choose a strap. You don't need to get the actual NATO strap. You can get something different uh, for that $590. Um, so considering all of that, there is a lot of special items that go into this watch. As I mentioned, not only that shroud, but also that walnut dial. If you are into getting something a little bit different, that walnut dial looks very different and it is teaked and it looks like, you know, the deck of a yacht. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, double crown, obviously, uh, a compressor style case, even though it doesn't look like a compressor and you have an inner rotating bezel. Pretty cool, I would say, uh, and, and, and very, very different. Uh, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. $590 is not a small sum of money for an NH35, but like I said, you're getting some special details that you don't get on the run-of-the-mill um, you know, micro brand. It is a original design, which is kind of special. Anyway, again, please tell me what you think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit that bell icon it is super helpful for the channel please also follow me on instagram my instagram is watch chris blog i have some links in the description below those links are to amazon if you click those links and buy anything it helps support the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra however it is very helpful and i very much appreciate it anyway thank you for logging on and i will catch you guys in the next video